how do we make this IP work out? And that's been a question going around WB. And I want to talk about Superman because Superman is that big IP that they've been wondering how you make it work. And we've talked about this, talked about this, talked about this. All I got to say, we were right. That's all I can say. We were right. So the casting news came out for Superman Legacy. And we got some corn sweat going on, everybody. We got a little David corn sweat. We got some... Rachel Brosnahan coming in to be our Superman, Clark Kent, and our Lois Lane. And then Peter Safran and James Gunn found them finally. And this came out, of course, Corn Sweat. If you're not too familiar with them, he made his first appearance on Ryan Murphy World, working on The Politician, also working on Hollywood. Big break there. Jumped into a lot of projects after that. He's on uh, the Apple TV series Lady in the Lake coming out soon. And he's also in that Twister sequel, Twisters. Yeah. Good for him. Like, that's a uh, hopefully... Bomb. I, I mean, I, I like it to be good, but it's probably going to bomb. And Rachel Brosnahan, you probably know her, of course, from Miss Maisel. She's also in House of Cards. Been around for a long time. But they're going to start shooting in January. This comes out July 11th, 2025. And James Gunn said this about this recently. Now the casting news is out. He said, okay, everybody, we know who it is. But just so you know, we're not we're not going back in time. We're not going to tell uh, the baby landing. We're not going to talk about Krypton. He's a person living there. We know the backstory of Superman. We're going to dive right in, and we're going to have some corn sweat being our man of steel. And we're going to see how that goes, because does that work? I, I don't think we need to tell the Superman story a million times over, but I think this casting is great. I thought it was great when I first heard of the rumors, when I heard they were going to the uh, final auditions over Father's Day weekend. I, I knew it was be great casting. I'm like, mm, these are the people we need. So I, I think it's a smart move. They had like flight tests and stuff like that. They actually put them in harnesses and had them fly like Superman. I saw some videos online are pretty cool. Like one of the actors who didn't get it po- posted his. And I'm like, hey, dude, it's cool. But why would you post that? You know what I mean? <laughs> I don't know for me, but, but I'm all about corn sweat. I'm all about this. Rachel, what do you think? Are you surprised about this casting? Or are you with, uh, with me like this was, you know, writing on the wall. And of course, this is our, our cast. They're attractive young people. It works. <laughs> right? <laughs> That's I'm not heavily invested in the Superman franchise. I'm um, not heavily invested in either of these actors, but they're attractive. They seem to fit physically the role. If their auditions went well, I assume they can characterize the role well. So let's do it. I, I hope there's chemistry. There must be because they're doing apparently massive, massive chemistry reads. That was a big thing that James Gunn was really pushing for, which makes sense. You want to make sure that these actors can relate because I feel like that's been missing with a lot of the Superman movies. I didn't think that Henry Cavill and uh, and Amy Adams had a lot of chemistry in that movie. I thought it was all I right, but I, Adams, they, I I love her too. But it just it, <laughs> but he's kind of a stiff board a lot of times, and it's like He's, and I feel like. It, Corn Sweat's got to bulk up, though. He's kind of strong. He's got to bulk up. Yeah, I think he could do it. Time. He could. He's got time. Unless they're doing like, like young Superman, he's got to. <laughs> he's supposed to be younger. He's supposed to be in his mid twenties. And you know, in Corn program, Sweat, is the G- DC Juice program as intensive as the Marvel Juice program? <laughs> I don't think. So. I don't think so, Mike. I think Get that Marvel Juice is, is much Chris better. Pratt, he's be Superman. That. Well, that's true, Chris. We, want, we might twenty twenty four might like require a slimmer Superman. A more, a more Mike Doc like Superman. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Hashtag Mike Doc for Superman? <laughs> I'm, ju- I'm just responding to what the people want, Rachel. I appreciate your comment. Uh, so, uh, there's, there's, a little bit, there's a little bit of a Henry Cavill resemblance here, right? Like, I'm looking at the jawline and I'm looking at the hairline. That's yeah. basically it. They want, they want a dude with a block for a head. I don't know if they ever saw Gumby's adversaries the blockheads maybe when the blockheads if but the but the blockheads didn't have that kind of hairline um (laughs) better hairline i don't know man like you like rachel brosnahan doing this she's got she's got the look man i mean the first time i I haven't been uh what miss miss mazel like yeah it's not it's not her fault as an actress but just the just the reality that was presented in that show i really tried to get into the first season of that just due to the accolades that it had but for whatever reason it wasn't resonating with me period um, pieces aren't for everybody yeah looks, it's not uh, for everybody i i love I, I love period pieces too like yeah i'm not, I'm not gonna try well, to i i I, pre- I appreciate it i'm happy that they're doing it i'm happy for the success that they had so I don't want to give any any negativity on that at all. She looked the first time I saw her. She looked like freaking Lois Lane. Like, 
I, yeah. I, I, I get that. Like, are, but are they, are they just, is it, is there, how much is it about the, is it about the acting ability? Like, or is it about their ability to blend into the role or is it about their ability to bring some outside kind of expression into the role? I'm more concerned about the acting element than the physical element. Me too. Oh, apparently like yeah. because because superman is like he's the american character like i can see how they want you to fit into like into like little teeny box like i get that but then this is the dc problem again and again like well, bring bring the fucking interest right like we're, we're not just we don't just want to see like this this character uh in in small terms we also want to see what it represents for people what what a human looks like in this context yeah right and he is supposed to be like the go ahead brian uh, it's supposed to be the all-american person you know like he's the best of the best even though he's an alien he's supposed to be like this kansas boy like you know the best of us you know supposed to always be that way so you want the acting style there and james gunn said that's why he had these massive chemistry reads because he wanted to make sure these actors could really act and live in these parts and that's why it took a long time to get down to this. And so I have to believe that James Gunn knows they can do this. You know, and it's not just about the flair, the look, the 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 this you know the curly the curl hair, the Superman curl. It's not about that. It's it's more about you know the style. But they just happen to look like them too. Of course, there's millions of actors out there. You should be able to find somebody that can actually act their ass off and look like the character. I'm just that's saying. True. Rachel, what are you gonna say? Um, I would like them to either commit to making Superman a period piece. Or commit to modernizing it. Stop getting actors that look like the 1940s if you're going to modernize it. Get somebody who looks more like what 2023 looks like. Yeah. Maybe, this guy maybe, definitely... maybe, and you know, people are going to be mad about that. Cast an actor of color in one or both of the roles. That was a whole oh, thing they talked oh, about doing. Rachel, they talked Rachel, about it. I know. I know. The it's controversial. I know. Can't say I, know. That. I know, right? Which, you can't do uh, that. Lois Lane would break the internet, but you know. <laughs> They talked about doing that with Superman and, you know, there was a whole thing where they were going to bring in Michael B. Jordan to be Superman. And then they were like, well, now maybe they're like, but then they said, well, we're not going to do that. We're making a different character from Krypton now. They changed a different character. And then he was going to be this different Superman that came down, which is a comic book accurate character, apparently. And then DC changed, though, and they dropped it off. So that's not happening. And they went back to corn fed, uh, corn sweat. And uh, who looks like he is from the 1920s? I was, tr and I was is, trying uh, to look up what the what, what corn sweat like because the way that you pronounce it, Brian, is is it's corn probably not sweat. right. So I, I was wondering yeah. if he had. I've any... heard people call him corn sweat multiple times, so <laughs> yeah, I'm sick yeah, with I, corn sweat. It, it's hey, it, he works well in Kansas right. on the farm, man. He's sweating out that corn <laughs> juices. That's oh, all I'm saying, corn. you know. It's a Kansas name, uh, but it. yeah, it's a kid. if you're gonna cast actors who look like you pulled them out of the 1940s, set the set the show in the 1940s. Yeah, do it. They're not. I mean, no this is this is present day again. They're not going to do that, Rachel. It'd be it'd be cool to see that, like a period piece from a Fantastic Four. Maybe being a period piece in the seventies. I'm like that could be kind of cool. So I mean, like maybe this will be that too. Sorry, he is not Superman. That's what Gr says. He is now Gr. At least for one movie, <laughs> he is. At least for one movie.